Hey there, and welcome to Dome Motion. If you haven't yet, please watch Leilu Lupus repaint video first. But if you have, welcome again. In this video, we're going to make baby boy Lowell Folk, son to Boris Folk. And to make this video extra special, our favorite Divas Wolf, Candice Lupus Fox, is getting a re repaint. So, let's begin! If you saw the sneaky wolf in Leilu's repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint for the next reward repaint video. For this custom, we're going to use this baby brother Lika doll. We kind of ruined in the Felix family repaint video. It was meant to become Felix, but it got stained with dye in the process. Lucky I could replace it with a new baby doll to make baby Felix. Seeing Lowell will have a darker skin tone, I think the stain will dissolve into the dye. So let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Of course the same problem as with every doll, where every plastic type gets a different color tone. But we can work with this. Removing the head, we can color the rest of the body. But not the arms and legs, because whoa, they will get so sticky when you paint them or even use varnish on them. I tried everything on previous baby repaints and the only solution is dye. Now we can match the head with the body. And why not give him a cute white belly and nozzle like his daddy Boris. And there is his nose. We seal everything in with a layer of matte varnish. But not on the hands and legs. I made these mini ears from a poxy sculpt when I was working on Leilu's ears. And the tail is a wire from doll packaging. Let's color both. With some leftover flock from Leilu's video, we flock the ears and tail. By making a hole with a lino cutter, we can place in the tail with super glue. Great! Let's tuck back the hair and spray the mini doll with Mr. Super Clear. We sketch in the face with watercolor pencils. And for inspiration, I was looking at my very first baby repaint, Penny. To be honest, the only one I think looks good. Yeah, I know, I painted Felix two times in this video. But I'm still not happy with it. And I don't really like the eyes on baby Alex. Yeah, these baby dolls are very tricky to paint. It's hit or miss. But I really like how this one turned out. He kind of looks like a mascot of a 70s cereal. <laughs> we see in his face up with Mr. Super Clear. And now for face up number two. Yes, Canis Lupus Fox is getting a re repaint. Why, you may ask? Well, in our original repaint, she got green eyes, which I painted over with pink in James's repaint video. 
but this makes the paint on her eyes very thick. Also, the fake eyelashes aren't really handy with that long hair smashing it flat. She also has a crack above her nose which is visible in some lights. And I know her eyes are a bit wonky. Okay, let's take in before picture and remove the old face. Whoa, it's really hard to take off. Hey, you can see the old green eyes. Okay, now we're going to fix the crack above her nose and tone down her smile. Don't get me wrong, I love Kenneth's big smile. It really makes her character. But she has a lot of emotional scenes and it's getting harder and harder for me to hide her big smile in those scenes. So we're going for a more natural smile. Also great, now we can perfectly match the face with the body tone. Something I wasn't able to do when she got her Barbie made to move body. But when I was painting on her nozzle, I noticed something. A big bump of epoxy sculpt I didn't send down enough. <sighs> I know it's going to bother me later. So another sanding and face paint. And now we can paint on a nozzle and black nose. Just like with Leilu, the face up is mostly paint. I do love those big pink eyes on the original, but I tone them down a bit to make her look older. Or well, her age, which is 42. I did my very, very best to make her eyes look even, but they're still a little bit wonky. I'm not sure, I just followed the original mold. But then I saw it. There's a big dent in her head. I never noticed it because of her hair. Maybe I squeezed too hard when I was rerouting her, or it's a factory default. But this can maybe be the cause of her wonkiness. Still, and this is me saying this, I am very happy how she turned out. This character really deserves to look her best. And I know some of you will have to get used to her new look. Also, <laughs> before you nominate other characters for a re-repaint, the only character I want to give a re-repaint is Fulpini, because she also has a very big epoxy crack on her face. And for the rest of my Divas dolls, yeah, I'm very happy how they are and I would like to keep them like they are. <laughs> Great, let's switch back to Lowell because he needs an outfit. I still have this pattern I stole from a hair adorable. I used to make a dress for LOL Surprise Penny Repaint. Trimming it down, we can make a mini sweater and pants. Oh, 
Whoa, this is so tiny. Oh, let's also transfer on a star. Great, now we can also glue on the ears. Some hairstyling. Oh, and yeah, I painted over the blue star with silver paint. I liked it better this way. Some shine on his lips and Kenneth's lips. And the dolls are done. If you really would like to know what will happen to Kenneth, now she became an alpha divas, you should really watch the divas series. This stop motion animated series uses all the characters that are made on this channel. And I'm happy to announce that the series will return with brand new episodes. You can also watch these newly added short episodes. So, go and check out the TV series by following the link at the end of this video or the link in the description box. But if you'd like to watch more repaint videos, I really recommend becoming a Patreon or a member of the channel. Here you have access over 20 new and never seen repaint videos. Like the newly added Soul Eaters where you can follow the making process of the characters Mortis Felis and Rubus Felis. <laughs> you will be surprised what material I use for those teeth. Links are in the description box or follow the link at the end of this video. Before I go, I would really like to thank my lovely patrons of honor, Kei Namaru and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you and thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon with a new video. Bye!